Hello, welcome to Brandon Socket. I am Brandon Alexander, a customer success manager for Dealer Socket. And again, this is Brandon Socket, where we produce videos on Dealer Socket training, digital marketing strategies, personal branding techniques, and a whole bunch more. So, this video, we are talking about smart link campaigns. So, in a couple, you're, you hopefully you're on this video from clicking, you know, from watching a document manager video, which is listed above, or you're on uh, the campaign manager video, which is going to pop up above any second, but they're both in the description. Um, and further to that, uh, it originated from a video I did called how to connect your 2020 marketing plan to dealer socket. So if you haven't watched those videos, feel free to, I'm going to list them at the end description and, and throughout the video. So really important stuff on how to connect uh, certain pieces from your marketing initiatives within dealer socket, how to communicate with customers. And so today, the smart link campaigns, again, listed under the pie chart marketing tool section, and it actually lives in campaign manager because it is a smart link campaign, right, right here. And so the main difference between campaign manager and smart links campaign <clears throat> is you can only add events, emails, and phones. There's no other option for enroll in a campaign. And where they're extremely useful is when we send an email out and when they click a link, you know, let's say let's say we had a, an email that said, you know, used car buyback, uh, you know, book your book your appointment now, and we wanted our used car managers to get an activity to realize how many people are, you know, clicking the link and maybe they call. We can assign that activity when they click the link to a manager, right? So we can assign different people based on clicks, and we can send emails based off clicks, right? So if they click the link the next day, they get you know uh, an email template from a from a salesperson to send out. Okay, so. In this case here, we are talking about our buyback campaign, right? So we'll label this buyback campaign 2020. I'm gonna keep the campaign name the same. Um, same as campaign manager and document manager, you wanna make sure the type is relevant. And stop status, again, you, you may not need a stop status in a smart link campaign, but just you know, for the sake of argument, we're gonna stop it at a store visit level, right? We might hit a second phone call, but I don't think um, if we hit contact, it may never enroll because clicking the link might, might do something. So, you know, let, let's keep it a contact it for now. And I'm gonna hit save. And so now my campaign is saved. I've got an ID here. And I'm simply gonna say this. If the customer clicks the link, I want to generate a phone call for the salesperson. So we're gonna go link was clicked. So it's a warm-ish customer. To do code, re retention. Assign to the assign to of the opportunity. Phone script, we don't have one. It's going to default to outbound phone call because that's all we have. And we're going to go customer clicked link might have some interest. Okay. Again, days due is always zero. Run date, don't touch. Sequence in this is one. And days after is zero. So if they click a link on Monday, Tuesday, the activity uh, will generate. So if I hit save, we are done with this campaign. Now, the only difference or the only kind of, you know, the other step we could do is we could send an email to a large group of people, to 3,000 people. If they click the link, then start the opportunity and, and add the event. And so that's where we can click add event and start the process, just like we did in campaign manager, right? So. It's the same window, hey, start opportunity, assign it to the uh, previous assigned salesperson, put your description in there, uh, source is uh, not customer initiated and unqualified uh, zero days after. So a couple of different scenarios on where you would start an opportunity versus not. In this case here, I just wanna generate a phone call off the clicked link, okay? And if I click add email, I do get a chance to send an automated email. So a lot of great stuff you could do with this where you send an email with a link, they click it and they get a video from the general manager two days later, three days later with maybe a follow-up that says something like, you know, to all our valued customers, you know, you're seeing this video email because three days ago we sent an email and we just want to follow up and say thank you and maybe provide a little more detail on it. I'm Brian Alexander, general manager of dealership XYZ, and we really want to, you know, see your used car here. Whatever the whatever the message is, there's a lot of different mediums you can use um, to add into an email and send to that to that customer. So now that 
now that this campaign is set, we can associate it. We can look at the associated documents, which we don't have yet, right? There's none listed. So we actually have to go back to the pie chart, go into document manager. We're going to search our January buyback. I don't have information there because I think I saved it by accident as March one on one of my videos. Okay, great. I don't have a link. So let's just pretend the message is thanks. Here is a link to uh, more info, right? And this is what we want to highlight. And again, use hyperlink. We're going to go www.brandonsocket.com. And again, I will reference it because I am so passionate about it. This is not a good URL. You need to create a custom URL. So please watch the custom URL video because we want to track what they do on our website. Um, not to be big brother, not to be a spy. But we want to understand what kind of journey our customers are, are, are having on our website from this message. And if we don't do a custom URL, can't do that. So we'll just, for the sake of argument, we'll do this. Okay, great. So now we've got the link, but there's still no smart link uh, button here. So we got to go save. Once we save it, now the smart link sets up. So this document sent out, we're going to set up the smart link. And essentially, we're just going to go through the prompts. Hey, what category are you looking for? Sales? What campaign type? It's a special offer. What's the name of your campaign? Buyback campaign 2020. Hey, great. The document you're currently on has one link. So I'm going to select it, assign smart links, success, link assigned to campaign. Done. When that email, so let's, let's do a quick review on this one. We build a list, we go to our campaign manager, and I know I'm doing this quickly, but you, you, there's a video on, on it, on how to build a campaign. So if I go to my buyback campaign 2020, we enroll these customers, it starts an opportunity. It assigns it to the previous salesperson named John Smith. The email goes out, that email, we just edited it, okay, with a link. The link gets clicked, it generates a phone call for the salesperson, or they can follow these prompts, right? So that's that's where we talked about in Campaign Manager and Document Manager videos on. You may not necessarily need these phone attempts, but you can create this opportunity, send the email. If they click the email, an activity will generate. So just different ways you can you can perform that. So that's SmartLink campaigns. Again, found under Campaign Manager. Uh, I truly believe it's one of the most underutilized functions in DealerSocket. Has a lot to offer and it can do so much more for you uh, as far as warm customers versus cold customers. So thanks for watching. I'm Brandon Socket again. Please like, share, comment, and we will see you in the next video.